is I am going to harvest some asparagus, but I want to show you how I choose which ones to pick because I always want to leave some in the ground. So, so if I take all of the asparagus spears and I don't leave any of them to grow up, then the plant's going to die and I'm not going to have asparagus for the next however long, years to come. And this asparagus patch, if I pick it right, then it's going to keep growing and keep growing. If I don't pick it right, it, everything will die and I won't be able to harvest asparagus for years to come. So here's how I decide which ones I'm gonna pick. Okay, so I have to be really careful where I'm stepping. Here's, this one probably fell, uh, a seed fell right here. Like I said, this is a female plant. It drops its seed and I see a couple more right here. I've already picked one right there, but this one is too small. It's not tall enough. I want them to be about six to eight inches tall before I harvest these. This one right here is probably, I need to watch this. These asparagus grow so fast that um, I come out here in the mornings and I look and by the end of the day, they are big enough to pick. They grow that fast. So let me go back. But another reason I want to be super careful where I step is I have all of these little spears that are just now starting to emerge. There's one right there. There's one right there. Okay, this one's not tall enough, but this one right here is too tall. It went too far, but that's okay. I generally want to leave at least one spear and let it grow. Probably more than that. I would want to leave several spears to grow from one plant. Now, how can I tell if this is one plant or not? So you can see there's a crown right here. This is where a lot of spears are coming from. This is a crown right here. This is where a lot of spears are coming from. That is coming from this one. And here is another one. It's coming from that one. This one right here is another crown. This one right here is coming from this crown. I just want to look at the general vicinity of where they're coming from. I want to make sure that I'm going to let at least one grow up and then I can see where the new ones will be coming from. We've been harvesting off of these now for a couple of weeks. We've been cutting them, bringing them in, sharing them with people that come by and we have plenty. You know, you can only eat so much asparagus at once before you get burned out on it. But we only harvest these in the spring and then again in the fall. We usually just eat them fresh. I don't try to save them. I'm not real crazy about pickled asparagus, but I know that there are ways that you can can them. I just don't do that. We eat them fresh. We throw them on the grill. We eat them while they're in season and, and then they're done until the fall and then we can harvest some more. So let me show you some more that we can get. Okay, this one right here is probably about eight inches tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. Okay, I'm in a different part now. This one is okay to go ahead and take. I'll take that one. And then this one is gonna go ahead, is okay to go ahead and take. I'll take that one. This one right here is good to take. I'll take that one. This one I'm going to leave, it's too short. These are kind of short, that one is really short. This is another one that I let get tall because I wanna make sure that I have asparagus to pick for years to come. And so yeah, these right here, that one, these I'm probably gonna harvest this afternoon. And So that's all I'm gonna pick this morning. And if I were to let these go until the afternoon, they would probably be too big. Now I did pick this up to show you, sometimes I let them go too long. It's just what happens. It happens with zucchini, it happens with cucumbers. But this one right here was one that was too long and I just cut the woody part off. You do that from the stuff in the stores, right? You buy the asparagus and you usually take off the end because it just gets too woody. The texture's not good. So yeah, this is one that I just kind of popped it off and cut it off and brought it inside anyway and we ate it and it was fine. But um, yeah, so sometimes when they get too long, I will go ahead and cut it, take it, 
and then I just kind of toss this part in the compost pile or on the ground. Okay, right here where this crown is right here, I like to le leave a little bit of a stump. I think I said that in another video because I wanna know where this plant is. I wanna make sure that I know where not to step. But this is um, some purple asparagus. It's really, really purple. I wanna say this one's purple too. So there's two different plants here, one here, one here. And so I'm still waiting for this one to come up. It seems like this species, this variety was uh, a kind of a late comer last year so I'm still just keeping an eye on that but yeah I'll be back to pick these this afternoon and we'll have more asparagus let's see I'm gonna leave one from this crown this is all the same one okay so you can leave one at the end or the beginning sometimes it's just a good idea it's kind of an insurance policy to let the first one grow up and then you know where they are for one thing and then if you leave the first one, let it grow up from each crown, then you know you have kind of an insurance policy. Just you know that it's going to grow, it's gonna do its whole photosynthetic thing, and then um, you can pick, start picking after that, or you can pick from the very beginning. Yeah, I know that it's really tempting to just go ahead and wanna take the first ones, and you can. There's no hard and fast rule about that. This is just the way I do it. I usually will pick the first one and then I'll kind of let the second one grow up and then I will just keep harvesting until I feel comfortable. And they're pretty in the edible landscape because they're just this pretty airy fern that is just a real fine texture that goes with the other textures that I have here in this space. I see a purple one growing over here. This is a second year asparagus plant. So it probably grew from seed last year, but it's purple and I'm so excited. So this female plant that's over here that grows the seeds, and these are all male plants, I can tell you from right here because there's no seeds on them. And I guess it cross pollinated and it gave me a new purple plant. I'm so excited. I did not know that. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So anyway, we have like five spears right here. And that certainly really is enough for me and my husband to eat for dinner tonight. But I am gonna be harvesting more and I have more in the refrigerator right now. So I'm gonna show you how I store my asparagus until we're ready to eat it. Okay, let's go in the house. Whoops, gotta turn on some lights here. Okay, I just get a glass like this and I fill it with water. And then I will just put it in the refrigerator just like that. But I see that I already have a jar in the refrigerator and I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to this jar. This is some that I picked the other day. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this clean jar of water. I like to change the water in anything that I'm keeping like that. And I'm kind of funny. I like to, for my asparagus, I'll be the same size. So I'll probably be cutting the asparagus down to the same size as what this is. And then this water, which is a couple days old, I'm just going. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Until next time. Oh, don't forget, if you haven't done so already, to hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the little bell, you only have to do it once. But if you hit that little bell, it'll alert you whenever I put up a new video. And there's a little share button down there. So you can, if you know someone who's really into it, then you can share it with them. All right. See you next time. Bye for now. But we only really harvest these in the spring and then again in the fall. So 